Good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I cannot wait to share with you what I am celebrating and I've been celebrating all weekend. What did everybody do this weekend? I haven't heard from anybody as to what you've been doing this weekend or what you did this weekend. And the weather was so nice. We had such amazing weather this weekend. It was awesome. And no, I did not go hiking. <laughs> I did not have an opportunity. And you know, it's not that we didn't have an opportunity. We did have an opportunity. I just, I was so exhausted this weekend. There was so much going on, but it was a good exhaustion. It wasn't a stressful exhaustion. We just did so many wonderful things and spiritually I was just exhausted and we were tired and so we just kind of vegged all day yesterday. <laughs> we didn't do much at all, which is totally okay with me. Totally okay. Good morning, Jen. Oh, what a blessing. Praise God, Jen, that your boy was baptized yesterday. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited for that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. Good morning, Alicia. So yes, I am celebrating. That's exactly what I'm celebrating this weekend. You guys, this weekend was amazing. So Friday, I got a, I got a text from, <clears throat> from Joseph, from over at Joseph's house, telling me to sing hallelujah. I'm like, what am I singing hallelujah for? And so I started kind of shooting out all these different things that I'm singing hallelujah for. And then he says, little Johnny gave his life to Jesus. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So little Johnny, or Johnny, you know, that we were speaking of, he, um, he's the one that helped me paint um, the cafe over at Joseph's house. And helped me all week to do all the painting and everything like that. And so we we were talking to you know, so I got a chance to just, you know, just get to know him and talk to him throughout the entire week. But he um, you know, he struggles with his demons and his addictions, and he's been struggling, you know, for years and years. And so he's been kind of coming around a lot. He's been helping Joe and volunteering, you know, to do some work over there at his at the ministry there. And um and my husband has been also spending some time with him and talking to him. And Wednesday night, we sat with him and did a little Bible study with him. And he had tons of questions, tons. But we could see a difference in his heart and in his demeanor and just, you know, in his spirit. We, we noticed a difference. And the next day, you know, because he was working with Joseph, he gave his life to Jesus with Joe. And I was so, that was just such a celebration for us on Friday. Praise God. And, um, and then Saturday, as I mentioned to you guys, I was going to be going out. Um, my husband's worship band was going to be playing outdoors in Naugatuck, which happens to be my hometown. So I was excited to be back in my hometown again. And it was all about just praying for the hometown, praying for our president, you know, just praying for our country and, um, and just celebrating and praising God. And so there were testimonies that came up and and, um, you know, just to give God praises and glory, you know, for their testimonies. And, and there were about three or four different pastors from the local areas that were there as well. And the music was, of course, amazing. And, um, and again, you know, there was an older gentleman, his name was, his name is Eddie, that just happened to be driving by. And he's like, oh, what's going on over there in the green? Really, I'm not even sure. He had to have been in his 70s, you know, still driving, <laughs> could barely walk. And um, he sat on a, on, a, on a bench kind of far a little bit further out. And my girlfriend went over and she, you know, asked him, hey, come sit with me. And she had her puppy with her and stuff. So just in talking with him. And then I went, of course, and I met him. I got to know him a little bit. You know, he's been, he's been, he's been in Augatuck in my hometown for the last 17 years. And, um, and so he was there for a couple hours. And then in the end, you know, again, you know, she asked him a simple question, you know, have you ever given your life to Jesus? Have you ever given your heart to Jesus? He says, I can't say that I have. Anyway, long story short, just in her reciting everything that was going on and, and also in the music and stuff, and stuff like that, he gave his heart to God. He gave his heart to Jesus. He gave his life to Jesus. And it was such a celebration for all of us. And the pastors went and prayed over him and his life. And it was just amazing. And so that is what, that is the most exciting thing for me is to celebrate when someone is added to our spiritual family. You know, that's two more individuals that were added into our spiritual family, you know, that I was a part of. And it was just, 
it just brought me so much joy this weekend, so much joy. It was amazing. It was totally amazing. And then Saturday night, I'm telling you, I was busy. <laughs> Saturday night, my husband and I went to Joseph's house. They have, they reopened their open mic. Again, you know, not too many people came. They were very, because we have to keep it social distancing still. And, um, but it was amazing. The, there were two featured bands there. One gentleman came from Ohio. And, um, he is a singer. He's a song, uh, a singer and songwriter from Ohio. And um, he happened to be in Massachusetts, you know, um, he was doing a, uh, a worship um, live there and stuff like that in Massachusetts. And so he's like, you know, I'll go to Torrington, you know, we, someone, someone locally, a musician locally actually happens to know him and brought him over to Joseph's house. Oh my goodness, what a blessing he was. If you have an opportunity to follow him, his name is Weston Skaggs. S-K-A-G-G-S. What an amazing voice that he's gifted with. And his music, all his originals were just so touching and just so beautiful. And just one of his songs gave me the chills. You know, it was just, it was just, it was wonderful. What a blessing the evening was for everyone. And everyone else also that came and actually did open mic, you know, and, and had no fear. <laughs> no fear whatsoever to get up there. It was just amazing. It was great. So it was a beautiful weekend, and I hope you guys had also a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And Jen, I am so excited, so excited for you. I really am so excited for you. Good morning, Joanna. So yes, that was um, my weekend. So this morning, you know, God put in my heart to talk about celebrating with a new song. And as I told you, I've also been doing the reading, you know, for Proverbs. I hopefully, you, hopefully, you guys are doing the same. And um, which was perfect for this this particular devotion, one of these scriptures that I picked from Proverbs to share with you. So, okay, now that now that I can calm down a little bit from my excitement <laughs> and celebrating, um, <clears throat> let me start us off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, Father, thank you so much for one more day that we get to spend with one another, Father. Thank you that we are healthy and we are alive. Thank you for new songs and thank you for celebrations, Father. Thank you that we get to leap for joy with all the new things and the things that you do. Thank you for that, Father. Thank you for always putting a new song in our hearts so that we can rejoice and leap for joy, Lord. Outside of everything else that is going on around us, Lord, lift us our spirits, lift up our spirits, Father. Help us to always sing a new song in celebration of everything that you do, Father. Yes, and Lord, I ask for many blessings on everyone that is watching with me, blessings in their lives and their health and their families, for your continued hedge of protection over them, Father, and to help them to keep their eyes and their hearts focused on you. Focused on you, Lord, and focus on what is truth. And give them that new song every day, Lord, that they can also leap for joy for you, Father. Leap for joy, yes. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Woo! All right. So I'm going to read a couple different scriptures from, um, for you. And the first one is going to be from the book of Psalm, chapter 40, verse 3. By the way, I did have to turn on my heater yesterday, our heater. <laughs> because our, again, I live in a brick home. Oh, my gosh. And so the coolness, you know, is contained inside. I was so cold yesterday. When we, you know, it was actually warmer outside than it was inside. <laughs> so I'm like, so last night my husband and I were lounging in, in the living room. Like, I think we need to turn the heater on just to get, you know, just to take that cool air out of, out of, or that, yeah, the coldness out of the air. So yeah, so I did. <laughs> anyway, Psalm 43. So chapter 40, verse 3, and this is from the New Living Translation from this Bible here. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Yes, a new song so that others can see what he has done and glorify his name. And that led me to Proverbs 3. Verses 5 and 6, I'm sure some of you know this one. 
So Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and I'm going to read from the NIV version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. So again, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't trust in your own understanding because we're human and we make mistakes every single day. And we sin every single day, right? So the one person that we can really trust completely, 100%, wholeheartedly is God. Amen to that. Thank you, Lord. So God's love letter to you and to me. Beloved daughter or son, I am a loving father. And I want to give you my best every day. I want to give you a new song to sing. A song that makes your heart beat with mine. Look to me to receive all that you need. I love you. And I love to give you my goodness so the world will see that you are mine. I will write a song on your heart that can be sung through all the sadness and gladness that this life will bring. Open your heart and receive a new song from me. Love your Heavenly Father. Amen. You know how you feel when you hear a new song and then the lyrics define your feelings. Yeah, we start dancing. We sing the song, we want to sing it over and over and over and over again. Well, that's what the Lord wants to do for you. He wants to give you a new song. And he wants to show himself to everyone through what he does for you. Good morning, Rachel. When God writes a song in your heart, it becomes a beautiful melody of life. Yes, and it does, doesn't it? It gives, gives us that, I don't know, it's like what I was saying, you know, about celebrating this weekend. You know, my heart was just leaping for joy. Tears of joy ran down my face. It's just so amazing how much God has changed my heart for compassion for others. And I wish the same thing for all of you. You know, I wish the same thing for all of you. You know, every time we gain a new family member and our a new family member in our spiritual family, that's a reason to celebrate, to jump for joy, to give God all the glory and praises, right? Yes. When God writes a song in your heart, it becomes a beautiful melody. Imagine that. It's like your favorite song or your favorite hymn or you know. It gives us a lot of joy in our heart, and it is. It's a beautiful melody, or like any any kind of like, um, you know, when I think of a beautiful melody, also I think of like piano, and just the sound of piano and how it sounds. You know, it's just, it's just so beautiful. It's beautiful in our hearts. It's beautiful to our ears. It brings us, it gives us like that sense of relaxation, and love in our hearts and peace. That's exactly the new song that God wants to give us every single day. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Father, for this reminder. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me, and it always is every day. Thank you, Jesus, for celebrations, and thank you for your new song. Guys, go out there. Go out there and celebrate life. Give God all the glory and be a blessing to someone. And I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow morning. You guys, have a fabulous day, and I will see you then. I love you all. Miss you. Bye.